All right, the purpose of this video uh, is to uh, remove the uh, Holly 850 with the broken three flanges. The only one that's okay is back here where this uh, modified bracket is, which looks like it goes as a um, spacer also. But I'm taking this off now so I can see what's really under the intake. I mean, under the carburetor. I'm gonna put the lock in washer, this type washer, with the slit, it's the lock in washer where it shouldn't really loosen up, you know. Just want to make sure everything stay together. Alright, now this fuel. I did this a few moments ago prior to the video of loosening the fuel line, the fuel pressure gauge line. Okay. Vacuum port for the mechanical advance HEI. And loosen this out prior to the video as well so we won't waste time with that let me get a glove out the back Just continue recording mm -hmm. let me get a glove stay over that my Buick Regal blue glove <laughs> All right boom now I can take this baby off to be careful that no pieces of the um, flanges go into the damn intake. This was the one that I was tightening last where I heard the pop. And on the right side, I forgot to mention that on the, this is where I heard the pop. On the right side is where I heard like escaping air. Prior to this happening, I actually had a dream that the carburetor gave some sort of issue where it actually in my dream. And then two days later, I come out here, and that's what happened. God forbid I drop this right in the intake, right? The nut. Don't say that. That's three away. One more to go. Wait, I'll go on that side and do that. I want to do everything correctly instead of rushing through it. And I see that this actually raised up this corner. Now this one has a washer. They all have washers. Check the condition of this washer. Yeah, that was tightened. I think that was over tightened. You see the washer's condition? Yeah. fun part is going to be when I actually remove the carb so we can see what's actually 
really under here. Now the gap, now the, oh, you know, what the, f oh, this squirts the gas out of the squirt. Let me get the video for a moment. Now I see here, but that's with this. Now, one of you guys, please chime in at vabuick.com or YouTube and let me know what the hell part of the carburetor this is. Wow. Interesting. I don't know. Because it wasn't squirting fuel. When I do this, nothing comes out. Mm -hmm. But the back one on this side, on the passenger side, I'm just getting this washer out of here. Four washers, they all look the same. Now here we go, let me take care here. Oh, throttle cable. Hmm. What the hell? I had this up before. Sun is over there. Okay, I got it now. Push it in and pull it backward. Okay. Nothing can go in the intake here. It's the funky brakes bracket. Now, can you get a close up here so we can see what's really going on? Stuck up with a gasket, okay. It's just gas. Okay, oh shit, I don't want this shit to fall in. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. Look, see what I'm doing here. Put this baby over there. Okay, now no lift. Mike P and Steve. Yeah, no. This every all of this is coming out. Now this is what's under here. Are you getting this clearly? Yes. All right. This is the throttle linkage bracket brace, which acts as a spacer. This is number one. Let's put that here and get a shot of that, the thickness, etc. Damn. Mm -hmm. See, this is as thick as a quarter. And the gasket, which is all correct. But you see, this is uh, this gasket is, mm. I think, destroyed. Yes. And this is the actual spacer. These are the studs. Now, let me move this off so we can see what's really under here all together. This is the spacer. Mm. That's pretty heavy. And then we have another gasket under here. Seems all correct. I'm taking this out. Look, this, I'm getting a new one anyway. This is ridiculous. We pull it away from the intake. It sounds like uh, some sort of theme music. Yeah. It's your alarm, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna clean that up, block the hole and clean that up. Not right now, mm -hmm. first. Let's just see what's under the dam. Holly. I'm this piece right here. Yeah, exactly. Don't drop that in the intake, please. Okay. Put that over there. Okay. Yeah. You see? Mm -hmm. That's crazy. I mean, I guess some bionic. <sighs> Barely have any fuel in the intake here. It's a drop or two. Let's see, let me see if I can look in here. This is in good shape. Well, yeah, that's a spacer. That's fine. And that's it. That's all. What? I, what is this? No, this doesn't interfere either because I looked at the back and this does not cause the carburetor to rise up at all. This actually clears the uh, 